have an example here of a formula of velocity and you have acceleration there. Okay, so v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Okay, when we change the subject of the formula, by the way, we will apply uh, the, the rule of transposing one uh, value here to the other side of the equation. So if it has positive value here, or plus, when you transfer that to the other side, it becomes minus, right? So if it is multiplication, so it's multiplication right over here, and you order to transfer, let's say, 2a, because we want to find it as only, that means it becomes divide on the other side. So right here, you are, if it is multiplied, you have to divide it, okay? And uh, if it is divided here, so that means you are going to multiply on both sides, okay? And uh, for example, you have square, so the opposite of square. So we go with the opposite of square, which is the square root. So we will root this and we will remove the square. And also on the other side, we were going to root it. So except the S, we are going to transfer 2A U, uh, U squared to the other side of the equation. Okay, so that's our task. So then we will have V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to transfer is this one because it's easy. So it is being added, so that means you will have V squared minus U squared. Alright, because it was added to that. Then you have plus 2AS. Okay, now as I said earlier, uh, if it is being multiplied, so we are going to divide. So we will divide both sides with 2a, so that we can remove this, yeah? Right. The arrow is not clear, so divided by uh, 2a, alright? So then we can say that s is equal to v squared minus u squared over 2a. This is our formula in solving for the S. So when we change the subject of the formula, we also make our formula simple, right? So we do need to make the formula as simple as it can be. Okay, so this is easy stuff right here. Okay, let's try another example. All right, so second example I, we have here Example two. Second example here. So I have here the cosine law formula. So, so this is the cosine rule. Okay. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus two ab cosine c. Now you you want the cosine c to be the subject of the formula. If you're going to study a formula, what you have here is a square of a added to a square of b. b. Then it was b minus with the multiplication of two a b cosine c. Right. So we need to transfer two a b b squared and e squared to the other side of the equation. If you're going to notice this, these are added, right? And this is being minus right here. So we can transfer the whole thing here to the other side because this is like 
all of that, all of that is been minus. All right. So what we are going to do now is we will have okay c squared. Well, I just copy that one. B squared minus two a b cosine c. So I'm going to transfer all of this to the other side of the equation. So then I will have c squared plus 2ab cosine c equals a squared plus b squared. So then you have c squared here being added. So we can transfer this back to the other side. Okay, so you'll have 2ab cosine c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Okay, then this is being multiplied. What to do? We have to divide all of it. So divided by 2ab. So 2ab is cancelled out. Divided by 2ab. Our answer would be cosine c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab. This will be our answer now. Alright? So it's easy. Okay, so what we need to remember for this uh, subject is that if we have a plus when we transfer that to the other side of the equation, that becomes a minus. If you have a multiplication, to transfer that to the other side of the equation, you have to divide it. And if you have a square, then you have to make a root. If you have a cube, then you have to make a cube root. What if you have a root, then the opposite would be a square. Right? So we do the opposite in order for, for us to transfer that to the other side of the equation. Right? So this subject is very easy. But sometimes it, some of the uh, questions, or I mean the formula, can be tricky. So you have to be careful, especially with signs and also when you transfer the, the variable to the other side of your equation. Right? Thank you and again, if you like my content, please subscribe.